Hey guys, in this video we are going to take our first look at Polymer and creating our first custom Polymer element. Now, Polymer, if you're not aware of it, is a project from Google. It is basically made up of two different libraries. The first one is called Platform, which is a collection of polyfills that allows us to use Web Components API today. And then the next one is the actual Polymer library, which uh, is a library that lets us build Web Components. Uh, so what I'm going to do is create a directory called poly. I'm going to use Bower to install Polymer. And once that is installed, I'm going to load it up here in our text editor. Let's see, I'm going to move some things around so we can see. Zoom this in a bit. And the first thing I can do is create index.html. Now here I'm just going to drop an HTML uh, uh, template, pretty standard. I'm going to start loading up our two scripts. So the first one is going to be platform. So now we have our polyfills. And the second one is going to be polymer. Now, in order to use a polymer element, you need to utilize the HTML imports API. So that's a link tag. The rel on that is import, and the ref or the href on that is uh, the location of your component. So in my case, I'm going to do component slash hello dash world dot html. Now in that component, we are going to create a tag called hello world. So I'm going to drop that right here, and we're ready to go ahead and create that. So here I'm going to create a new folder called component. And in there, I'm going to create a new file called hello world.html. Now I've got a snippet for this, so uh, I'll walk you through it really quick. We've got this outer tag called polymer element. Uh, inside of that, immediately inside of that, we've got this tag called template, and then we've got a script tag right after that. Now we're going to name our element here in the name attribute of the polymer element component. So hello world. And we're also going to register hello world in our script tag here with this polymer call and passing in the name of our tag. Now here in the template, we are going to uh, produce our light DOM. That's the part of the component that the web browser shows the user. So we're just going to make this a simple H1 tag. Hello world. Now one thing to note here is the polymer element itself is a custom polymer component and we'll take a quick look at that uh, but for right now our component is completed everything is built it's imported onto the page we're utilizing it right there so let's go ahead and load this up in an http server and load that up in our browser so there is our component awesome now when i was mentioning earlier that polymer element is actually its own custom polymer element uh, and I know that's a bit of a tongue twister uh, but it is and it comes with all this built-in awesome stuff uh, one of them or most notably is two-way data binding so if I want to drop an input here give it a value of uh, an interpolated variable we'll just call that value and then we'll drop that right here inside our h1 as well save that and reload now we've got this input component here, or an input element, and anything I type there shows up in the other one. So that's very similar to any other sort of two-way data binding demonstration you may have seen before, for example, Angular or any others. Uh, but building components out of the Polymer element component uh, comes with all this built-in goodness. So there's a bunch of things we get there. Uh, uh, event delegation, two-way data binding, all sorts of things, and we'll definitely be taking a look at that in future videos. Uh, but for now, there you go. That's our first look at Polymer and creating custom Polymer elements. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you have a good one.